All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're going to do another uh, whip and chat here with Diamond Art Clubs, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. All right, Draglin's hanging out, having a good time, reading books. All right, square drill, 22 inches by 43 inches, 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. 53 colors, including two ABs, which stand for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill. The sparkle is a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code is considered, 150 is considered to be an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, so we're about, uh, where are both, are we? Okay. <laughs> Here. Yeah, kind of this third in the center of a pile of books. So, all right. So, did this like dark purple before? So stalactites, whatever I called it. Yeah, it's along this 310, and then the gradients lightened up to brighter reds in the spine of this red book. And now I'm on capital C symbol to fill in some of the that yellowish book uh, 301 hopefully your crafting and other hobbies are going well today just hanging out and diamond painting ran some errands this morning so now I'm just slipping in uh, time to diamond paint <laughs> see 301 Okay, uh, all right, yeah, I'll just start up here. Uh, yeah, so this is just where the red and the yellow book kind of are stacked upon each other. Just kind of outlining the books here. Okay. I guess it was Groundhog Day today, so it's going to be spring in six weeks or something, a month and a half. <laughs> Basically the same amount of time, but yeah. They bugged the groundhogs today to get that kind of update from them. I don't know, it's traditional now at this point for Groundhog Day, so... I, I don't know. <laughs> Just go with it, I guess. I, mm. <laughs> Groundhogs are probably just like, leave me alone. Why do you do this every year? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you know. Mm. Yeah, watch my brief interlude of the news headlines this morning and just not impressed as usual. <laughs> it's just. world is basically having a time. So it's like, yeah, oh, this is great. <laughs> okay, let's go to London. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> TV's off. <laughs> oh my gosh, scary stuff. Eek. So here I am, diamond painting. Seems safer. Mm. All right. I have to get through this pile of books somehow. <laughs> so let's give her. Okay. Meet the C symbol part way here. Yeah, let's do a little stair climb. These are longer platforms, though. The gray color down here just seemed like a 
very subtle kind of couple of staircases but flights us here okay now let's go along this red here now C was very brief. Okay, S. Yeah, okay. Okay, that was all for C. <laughs> okay, we got a capital S out now. Okay, put C away. <laughs> this 301 away. That's spelling it? Okay. <laughs> That, yeah, I'll do S. Yeah, I'll do capital S. Right. Uh, nine seven six. Okay. And we'll jump over to number seven. But yeah, there's not very much S here. Nine seven six. Uh, right here. Wow, it's a lot of this light brown. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This must be in a book further up for there to be this much 976. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Alright. S. Yeah. It's just still the outline of the book here. Yeah, the front cover, I guess. Front hard cover. I think these books on the stack are just hardcover books, so textbooks, if you will. Whatever content they contain. I don't know if this is a library or not, but just could be a study room or uh, if it's in this mansion or not. <laughs> it's Wizard's Mansion, or they're just hanging out somewhere. Yeah, S rate. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot for 20 seconds there. <laughs> what symbol am I doing? S. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, just two more here. Yeah, that, I poured a generous amount in, into the tray, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was, that was us. Okay, that was fun, yay. Okay, do these seven next, seven snacks because of the sense of color block. Yeah, fill in the red book. Mm. Great color gradients though, from dark to light. I, lo I love it, yee. Okay, seven. Oh, nine hundred. Okay. Ugh. All right, nine hundred. Ta-da! Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's lighter than that of the red I was doing before the upside down tea stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's the lighter red. Yeah, it's just to match this one, I suppose. And just in this block, okay. Mm. Alright, let's fill the spine of this red book in, shall we? Always a journey. Alright, the cat's head is next, like the other half of the cat's head. It's the next section. And some books in the background. 
And then the start of uh, that dangling bookmark and then the some more books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And more of the center of the pile above this and the cat's tail <laughs> and then books and then books <laughs> yeah. Woo. it just gets exciting from here we'll just keep climbing our way to the top but we'll hang out together we'll get through it together well, some spats of color but yeah just a lot of books <laughs> right. oh well it'll be a little more interesting once we get to the top because the other draglings hanging out up hanging on top of this pile of books looking down at this straggling down here so and then we have all that brick work in the window and the moon shining through the window at the top so it is quite a piece but yeah this is <laughs> this is the mountain climbing part to get to the summit <laughs> so it'll be quite a climb now, one drill at a time, one drill place gets us ever so closer to the top. Just take our time, enjoy the process, be an adventure. Yep. I'm in no rush to get through this. It's all good. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, this is a large canvas, so yeah, it's going to take time. But yeah, I'm not planning on finishing like 20 canvases this year. Like, <laughs> I finish what I finish. <laughs> yeah. You're just ripping through a bunch of canvases and not enjoying it. <laughs> I savor the process. It's all part of the craft, being patient and diving deeper into the piece. Those drills are stuck together. Okay. <laughs> right. And I keep wanting to pick them up. <laughs> Yay. All right. uh. Those drills are buddies. Just wanna hang out together and do everything together. Do all the things. I, I just want to put drills on adhesive, not separate a pair of drills from one another that have probably been friends for a very long time. <laughs> the drama. Oh, oh man, that Jeff's guy is really mean separating diamond painting drills from one another. They're probably like twin brothers or something. Whoopsies. You know, let's not get touted for that. Oof. Wow, that nice color shading. <laughs> Looks really good with this seven now joining the party. Yeah. Fantastic. Alright, 
a few more of the seven here. Oops. Red actually went by pretty quick. <laughs> just looked like a lot, but no, I just it's a really aggressive fill in. Wow. That certainly did not make it as a drill. Okay. <laughs> that drill was not having a good day. Okay. <laughs> that was garbage. I found some garbage drills in this kit, but yeah, man, just. Yeah, it's not been extensive. But not worth writing home to kind of <laughs> complaint. <laughs> Drills have been pretty decent, so. Of course, there's going to be a bit of garbage and a ton of kits. Just spread out scraps from the drill making process, etc. Just, yeah. It happens, yeah. Just don't get too excited. Yeah. Sticking to the adhesive again. Ow. Every time, bare adhesive, it's just my hands just want to rest on. Open adhesive. <laughs> oh, just relax your hand, it'll be fine. Mm. Just rest your hand on the glue, it'd be great. Um, what? <laughs> no, not generally a good idea. Skin's oily, so it'd really not be a great idea to ruin the adhesive. Yeah. <laughs> So, how long do you want me to be working on this canvas for? I'll just like ruin this copy of it. Oh, and I have to start over. It's like, oh no. Eh. <laughs> uh, let's not. <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> just let somebody else who wants this canvas to have their own uh, copy of the canvas, not me taking having to find a replacement or purchase a replacement. Now I'm good. I'll just uh, make sure the adhesive uh, stays working with this one. Yeah, sounds like a better idea. Mm. <laughs> All right, wicked fish. All right, yay. That turned out really good. Wow, that looks beautiful. <laughs> oh, so that yellow book's kind of jutting out, and then hence the spine of the book being blocked. Okay, that's cool. Really effective. The illusion of depth. Woo! It's light and shadow. Ooh, art. This is so riveting, folks. Okay. Well, that's the reds. Done, I guess, maybe. Okay, see how it goes. Okay, we'll do this dash. It would be like a brown or something. If I can find it, 400. Here we are. But, uh. Okay. Alright, 400. It's hiding. Whoa, do I have more 400? Yikes. Mm. Not much left. Mm. Yeah, not much going on. <laughs> I yikes. Okay, it's got to be more four hundred <laughs> on the side here. On my desk, uh, drafting table here. I hope so. This is kind of drill chicken right here. There has to be more. Yeah, there's just has to be. There's I'm seeing more dashes in the next section. Yeah. <laughs> Drill chicken. <laughs> well, let's see if I can just use what's in this tray, maybe. 
doesn't look like very much like of this dash symbol for this particular section at the moment, but I will have to break open. Oh yeah, we're good. Mm, bag right here. Ooh, maracas. Yeah. <laughs> now time for ASMR. Oh, yeah, I love the sound of the crinkling of the bag. Ooh, soothing ASMR. Yeah, you like creeped how many people out? <laughs> mm. Oh, some people don't enjoy the crinkling of the bag. Oh, I, it's just part of the process, but yeah. That was just kind of me massaging the bag of drills just because it was there. My bad. Uh, there's your ASMR for today. Yeah. I know. Leave a five star review. Yeah. Lol. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Yeah, it's really soothing, or like, incredibly annoying. <laughs> You're terrible at ASMR. Yep. Nailed it. Mm. Audio sensory multi meridian response or something. Meridian response. Yeah. I put an extra M in the acronym there. Auto sensory meridian response. Sure, that's ASMR, just in case you. There are YouTube videos where it's just, yeah. That and they're playing with makeup brushes and brushing it on microphones and you get that brushing sound right in your ear canal because you're wearing headphones usually it's just a very intimate you're just chewing ones and it's just like ugh. <laughs> I get the sensation from some of those videos but not all of them it's just I've fallen asleep watching some of them, but I didn't have headphones on. Oh, just, I just got so tired, or just lying in bed, and I just naturally have the urge to fall asleep. I don't know, multiple reasons. Uh, <laughs> it's a wonderful sensation to have, like experience, but... It's kind of a mindset too, like, to really sit there and watch it and be engaged with the content in, or, in order for that your body to pick up on it. But, oh, I probably have a little bit of ADD just scrolling <laughs> below the video at the other recommendations and just end up only watching partial amounts of those ASMR videos. It's just, yeah. I don't know, it helps with people's anxiety and mental health, so they are beneficial if you find the right content creator for the ASMR, because some ASMR isn't for everybody, or doesn't work for some people. I think it's just an attention thing, or just the time of day and I really don't have a pair of headphones that just works long enough to do like a two-hour ASMR section session I almost have to like close your eyes and not watch the video but just listen to the audio and that usually engages the sensation for me, but 
sometimes watching somebody else do something, I end up getting the sensation without watching a video, just in like real life, kind of thing. Watching somebody do something. And then that sensation comes to fruition. I'd find you'd have to have a half decent microphone in a quiet environment to just really be able to magnify the sensation while it's being recorded and not a overly overwhelming environment as well just a fairly natural calm environment kind of amplifies the feeling because it just moves your focus into the brush on the microphone or crinkling of paper somebody shaking beads in a container or just yeah various different objects will trigger that sensation I think like I don't really don't see like fluids being like water being poured into a tall container. That sounds kind of intriguing cuz I have some sort of weird attachment with water or fixation with water. Uh, I don't <laughs> just like sanding or tapping tapping's extremely common some of it really annoys me especially if it's like long nails acrylic nails and just like that really quick ah, some of it just bugs me but <laughs> yeah and just the fact that the nails are really long it's like how is that practical are they glued on or something like some of them look really beautiful, like acrylic nails. Like, Yeah, there are content creators who do unboxings of canvases that do have the long acrylic nails, but they look great. Like, they're changed up constantly, but... I don't know, just... They're just not tapping aggressively, and that's what just kind of triggers me for... <laughs> triggers my annoyance more than anything, but... content creators who do unboxings of diamond painting canvases that I'm fine with that like I'm more intrigued by their nails because they're usually a pretty cool design or vibrant color but <laughs> just when you're doing ASMR type stuff and for that purpose to click your nails and to kind of ignite your senses that that just bugs me that's the part that yeah. <laughs> So me crinkling that bag, that, that bag of drills, that probably really wasn't ASMR. I was just being annoying. Like, they do it for like 10 minutes or so. Five or 10 minutes of <laughs> the video. And the whispering sometimes. Just your right ear and then your left ear. They have like a certain microphone and the sound like wraps around your head as if they're like going to blow into your ears or, or ear or something with the headphones on. <laughs> it, it, yeah. If ASMR works for people, like works with people with anxiety or stress, yeah, keep watching the videos if it works for you, but yeah. Yeah, I just have to be in the right mindset to watch that kind of stuff. But yeah, you've been watching uh, Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison do doing bad ASMR today. Um, <laughs> down below in the description, I put a 
uh, main website links to Conquer and Pacer, to Fitness Challenge, Virtual Adventure Challenges to stay active. I'm not affiliated or partnered or sponsored with Conquer or Pacer. Those main website links, I won't get a commission or anything. I'm not trying to sell you anything, just for curiosity kind of thing. Uh, any news regarding Echoes of Color here on YouTube will be posted on YouTube under my community tab on channel page. Basically, everybody has a channel page here on YouTube. Just use the ad Echoes of Color to kind of find the channel, channel page. Yeah, I think there's like a way to get to the community. Yeah, page by ad echoes of color my kind of channel name essentially <laughs> yeah shortcut uh, I think it's for like any channel that I had decided to set it up at and then the channel name yeah and I'll take you to channel page totally up to you I uh, just do a start photo of whip that I want to work on start kit it up and then section by section completion updates throughout the canvas, the current whip, and then a finished photo. And then, yeah, any other info or mentions, which I very rarely do, it's basically in the whip and chat, uh, will be posted as a message in the community tab. So, other than that, Take care with all your crafting endeavors slash hobbies. Thank you for your support. As always, always so happy to read comments and stuff. People uh, relating to these Spangler canvases. But, yep. <laughs> Take care. All the best. And I'll try not to do bad ASMR in the future. But, yep. See you later. Bye.